and we back and now it's time to try the famous on 82 to 82 and 0 challenge late in nba 2k19 i attempted this challenge and well i just peeped that video almost got 900 000 views which tells me that well people want to see me try it and fail it again because it's uh, listen it is basically an impossible challenge yeah, I told people in the last video, if you if you can complete the 0 and 82 to 82 and 0 challenge, hit me up. Just send me some screenshots, a little video of you doing it. Not a single person successfully did it. I had a couple people win 78 games, 76 games in last year. Going 82 and 0 is almost impossible. But I'm going to try it again in today's video. So the way this is going to work, we're going to randomly select our team here. If we land on a team I've recently used in a rebuilding challenge, I will respin. I just don't want to be using the same players, making the same trade. So we're stopping in three, two, one. The Trailblazers. Actually did a Trailblazer rebuild like two, uh, last week, right? The day before Melo got signed, I did a Trailblazer rebuild. Go watch the video. So next, three, two, one. Wizards. Okay, let, let's do the let's do the Wizards. Let's do the Wizards. Now, if you're new around here, basically what we have to do, it's two parts of this challenge. We have to turn this roster to a roster that wins zero games. Which means that pretty much everybody's probably going to get traded. Unless these last guys, Admiral Schofield, Jordan McGray, these guys can help us lose 82 games. But obviously, the way Bradley Beal be hooping, he going to win you a couple games. So we got to get rid of him, John Wall, Isaiah Thomas. I kind of like what the Washington Wizards got here with Thomas Bryant. Even Mo Wagner's playing great this season. Uh, Hachi Moore. But all of these guys are being moved. Before we do our very first trades, let me remind you to leave a like on this video. It helps the channel grow more. And the more people watching, the bigger the community. Simple. So how do we do this? I guess the goal for me will be to trade Bradley Beal, John. I'll trade all these guys for first round picks and bumps. First round picks and bumps. Because that's the way. Ooh. Or, listen, listen. There's another route we could go. So we could go this route, right? We take all of Bradley Beal's minutes. I mean, all of them. Throw him into the reserves. And he spends this season on reserves. Which, is, which means that next year when we're trying to win, he'll be back on the roster. So maybe Bradley Beal's a guy we keep. But John Wall, I want to trade for some draft picks. I got to find a place for him to go. And if I want draft picks, I can't use the trade finder. Because, well, the trade finder rarely gives you draft picks. So I got to find a team that would want to take John Wall's humongous contract and give us back some picks. So what if I sent them to the Timberwolves, right? The Timberwolves have some bad contracts. I'll take back Jeff Teague. You need to make a 14 million. That's fine because you got Gorgie Zhang's huge contract. And they will also give you one of these cheaper guys like a Isaac Bonga, one of the greatest. And then you give us two first round picks. I'm protected. Two first round picks and maybe a second. No, but they want Justin Robinson. They'll give us two first round picks and Sebastian Napier. Big time deal. John Wall is traded to Minnesota. Next, we have to flip Jeff Teague. I don't think I'm going to get first round picks for Jeff Teague, but it's worth a try. The Hawks will give me a first round pick in Evan Turner. Big time deal. So we're going to stockpile these draft picks because we're going to need those draft picks to make big time trades. Because I want to listen. Listen, actually, I got this down pack. I feel confident in this challenge because of the plan I came up with in my head. We're going to trade for as many draft picks as possible, right? We're going to get it so we have a lot of money in free agency. We're going to sign normal free agents because this 2020 free agency don't really have that big time hitter. So we'll sign a couple tier two free agents, attach first round picks to them, and boom, superstars are coming to Washington. That's the deal. That's the plan. So let me continue to trade, guys. Like Thomas Bryan may give me a first round pick because he's young, he's good. And his contract is pretty cheap. The Mavericks to give me a pick and they're giving me an expiring contract of Courtney Lee? How can I not say yes to this? Look at Courtney Lee's eyes here. One of his eyes is close to close. I don't know what's going on with his picture. Big time deal. Thomas Bryant, I love you, my guy. He's actually one of my favorite bigs in the league, but he's got to go for the challenge. Isaiah Thomas, literally putting on for the short kings out there. You got to go. And the Warriors are giving me a first round pick? Deal. As a backup center, Mo Wagner? Probably not bad for the uh, for the Houston Rockets. Because, I mean, right now, they really don't have one. They have a lot of rotations where P.J. Tucker is the five. And I love me some P.J. Tucker. But the 6'4", 6 6'5", 6 6 6 power forward, probably shouldn't be playing much center. <laughs> um, so the next trade is Davis Bertans. I do see a first-round pick from Philly here. But they want to give me a contract that's too big. Okay, see, give me a first-round pick. And Mike Muscala at the trade exception. So that's basically what we're going to do. I may not show you the next couple trades because they're... 
to you they're pretty meaningless like i'm gonna get rid of a lot of these guys here and i'll just show you all the picks we end up with okay so this is what our team looks like right now i can't get myself to trade hachimura i can't do it what i will do is send him to the g league though so he can't hurt us by helping us win games and he also gets better so let me show you all the picks our first pick we have the hawks timberwolves mavericks nuggets grizz nope that's a second round pick um back to the seconds then we have a Timberwolves next year. We have the Pelicans next year, second round. We got a Pistons next. Just know we stockpiled on these picks, baby. So let me show you what the rotation is going to look like, right? Again, I'm taking Bradley Beal's minutes away, and I'm giving it to this guy, Garson Matthews. Welcome to the starting lineup, my guy. You are now our highest point-per-game guy. And then, like I said, I'm going to send Hachimura to the G League. I know he's not going to like that. I know he's not going to like that. But he's going to be trade bait for us later in the video. So that's why we're doing that right now. We just need him to keep getting better. That's all we need. Just, you just keep getting better in the G League. Now, the real question is, is this team bad enough that they'll, they will not win one single game? Because some 75s, you never know. You never know. Ever turn will come off our bench and drop a 30 one night. You know, random, random stuff like that happen in the NBA all the time. So, do I need to make, like, two more trades? Is this team too good? Let me do two more trades. I, I got to get rid of Evan Turner, Amari Spellman. Let's go 83 and, I mean, 73 and lower. That's the only guys we want in this team. So, we got, like, I guess four more trades. So, here's trade number one. There's two 72 overalls coming to the team. It's, we got rid of Evan Turner's contract, which didn't matter because he's a free agent anyway. Next, we have Amari Spellman. Um, come on, just somebody. Scalabissier. But they're start. They're taking our starting shooting guard. I can't do that. He's on a two-way contract. He's gonna be starting for us. Uh, come on. Just there's a first-round pick, but they want a first-round pick. Ty Jerome. I'm not giving up any picks. Boom. Houston Rockets give me a first-round pick, and they'll give me Gary Clark, who's a 69 overall, big-time deal. And I think there's what two more players. Yes. We'll do this deal. We giving up our two-way starting shooting guard, but they're giving us back a couple shooting guards that can start for us. So I'm not tripping about that. At the trade exception, big deal there. And then we have one more that is Ish Smith getting off this team. And he's going to the Clippers for Rodney Magruder. All right. So that is the final trade of this first year. Again, Bradley Beal, you're going to the reserves. And we're putting Marco. Nope. Jordan McRae, Marco. Let's go Marco into the starting lineup. Now I feel good. Two of our guys are less than a 70 overall. And we're about to go lose all games this season. Let's go. If we're being honest with each other, I'm still super scared. that one, one of these games, they're going to fight hard and win. But so far... So far, we're fine. Like, look at this. Oh, my God. We got about 150 points, and we put up 80. That's nasty. That's nasty. John Wall and his new his new role. Putting up big-time numbers back to all-star John Wall. Y'all remember John Wall used to do the... You, you know what I'm talking about? He back to that John Wall. Yeah, they, they gave us buckets. He got his revenge. I'll say that. But, all right. End of the season. I'll show you if we win, but if we do not win, the next thing you will see is me talking about who won MVP. Also, Bradley Beal super, um, super mad at us, which makes sense. But at the end of the day, I literally think I'm going to trade Bradley Beal. I think I'm going to trade Bradley Beal. So it's okay if he's mad at us right now um, because we're going to use him in like three first round. I, I'm getting a super, super, at least two super superstars. We're talking two top 10 players in the league. That's the goal, at least. I don't know how easy it's going to be, but that's the goal. And We won a game. We won a game. They put Bradley Bill in the lineup. Okay. We got to restart. So this time around, I'm going to do it very fast. I'm going to do the same exact stuff that I did. I'm going to trade John Wall back to the Timberwolves. I'm going to stockpile on picks, and I'll be back when our team is back to trash. So how do we do this? How do we do this without ever having Bradley Beal in the rotation? I'm going to try the same thing, but last time they slid him into the rotation without my permission, I can't have him do that again. This is our team. We still have Ish Smith. We got Chris. We have Doug McDermott. We have Jonah Bolden and Chris Donald Felicio. Zach Collins, Ken Rich Williams, Tony Snell, Isaac Bonga st still on the team. A lot of small forwards and Yamahimi. I guess I basically just have to watch every pop-up that comes up very closely. Um... Like, if it says try to edit the rotation, I just say, no, 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 Bradley Beal does not touch this flow. But okay, we're back in the swing of things. Let's go. Two games left. We did it. We did it. 0-82. Bradley Beal to play a single minute this season. Here are all the awards. Uh, okay, half the challenge is done. But that's the easy half, to be honest. The hard half is, of course, winning 82 games. 
I don't care about no wars. I don't care who in the fuck. Actually, I care about our stats because, I mean, somebody had to score, right? Nope. Actually, nope. Nobody. <laughs> nobody really scored for us. We legitimately went 0 and 82, which, uh, let's see how many points per game do we average? Yep. Our point differential was minus 37. So we got blown out by an average of 37 points every game. I'm not tripping because we the laughing stock of the league, but we're not going to be for much longer. You know why? Because we're going 82 and 0. Paul George wins finals MVP, goes game seven against Giannis and company, but they end up with the win. Now, things are about to get a lot better. Okay, let's see. If we win the lottery, if we win the lottery, so we have projectors have the first pick, the fourth pick, the fifth pick. We better get the first pick, and we don't. We get the third pick, the sixth pick, and the seventh pick. Oh, my. That is heartbreaking. That is heartbreaking. All right. So let's see how we're going to do things. Oh, man, man, man. Who is the first guy we targeted? The first guy we target should be our star star. So let's try to go for... I see a, a, I see Trey Young, right? Trey Young is on a team that is selling, which means that it's probably easy to trade for him. So we'll save him for a little bit later. So let's do... I want to try to keep Bradley Beal. Let's, okay, we'll throw Bradley Beal in the trade finder. Okay, that's not great. Hachimura and the third overall pick. Zach Levine in the fifth pick. So we're trading down a little bit, but getting a good player. Hachimura is an 82 overall now, by the way. So this should get us some good trades. Trey Young. I feel like I could trade for Trey Young later, man. I honestly feel like I could trade for Trey Young. I could trade up to the first overall pick. So the real question is, what guys do we go after? It's going to be hard to pry like a Kawhi Leonard away. But you know what? Here, we are we here for it. So I got to go through every team. And try to see which teams don't consider themselves championship contenders. So, actually, I guess the best way to do that is go to Team Intel. Actually, here, I will try to trade for Trey Young right now. We're going to trade finder Trey Young. Let's get that deal over with. He's on a small contract. Actually, they don't even have a trade finder deal for him. So, let's try to build our own. I want to keep Bradley Beal for now. So, Trey Young for Ryan or uh, Hachimura um, will give you this sixth overall pick. We'll also give you, is there a player here that you might want? Isaac Bonga. Everybody wants Isaac Bonga. And then a bunch of seconds. Because we got... Look how many picks we have, baby, to work with. Give you a bunch of seconds. I may give you another first because we just have so many. We have so many. And then one more first. From our first next year. Which is valuable for them right now. Deal. Trey Young is on the team. Alright, so that's our first star. I'm considering him a star because now he's a 90, 90 overall. And he averaged 25 and 7 last season. Yes, that is a star. And he's cheap. So we still have money to go get another big time guy. I'm going to just go through like every team's star players and see if they would trade us the players. Like that's that's the best thing I can do. Um, uh, This is, yeah. How are we going to end up going 82 and 0? We need a big. Car Anthony Towns. Car, they got nothing. DeAndre Aiden. They just want some picks. DeAndre Aiden is not a star yet, though. I need star players. If we don't lose a single game, I need to go balls to the wall. Jokic, they won't trade. I'm going to try to trade for Mitchell Robinson. Now, this is not a deal that's going to make us a championship winner or go 82-0. But if we're going 82-0, our bench players got to play well, too. I don't know who my star center is going to be, but Mitchell Robinson is going to be our backup. Uh, so I'll give you a second. And I'll give you this top 10 protected from the Bulls. Thank you. Jesus Christ. I just have so many picks that I, I can afford to throw them around. Rebuilding Pascal Siakam is on a rebuilding team. We're trying to snag Pascal before anything. That guy is lethal. So they're rebuilding. So I keep telling people, if you're a fan of the channel, you know that the teams that are rebuilding will basically trade you their best players for um, picks. Four star pick. Is that the third overall pick I just gave them? Simple. Okay. So we got... We have three stars. We need another center. A better center and a better small forward. So the best thing I can do now... How much money will we have in cap now? Because after those trades... Oh, we don't have money to sign anybody. Completely fine. Completely fine. So the only thing I have to do at this point is to get rid of the seventh overall pick right now. So let's... We'll, we'll test Bradley Beal on the seventh overall pick. What can it get us? I'm just testing the waters. You know how things go. Tra Trade Fighters not getting us much. Third overall pick at Kyle Lowry. Nah, nah, nah. 
nah, not that trade either. So we're keeping Bradley Beal until further notice, which I'm completely cool with. Next thing we're going to do, Zach Collins, seventh overall pick. Tobias Harris, and he can be our starting small forward. Tobias Harris, and he can be our starting small forward. I like that deal a lot. Or we can get a starting center in Vooch. This is a hard decision. Do we go with our starting small forward? And to, Tobias's contract is too big. Tobias's contract is too big. I got to think about the future. And the future is telling me to go with the cheaper player. Um, And we also get Alpha Rook, who's a good bench player. So, all right. We got our center. Um, Also, y'all know what settings we play on. We play 50s across the board. Um, I guess that's super important to some people out there. But we have a four-headed monster here that's pretty, pretty good. So the reason I wanted to get rid of that seventh overall pick is because now we can go past the NBA draft because I don't have any draft picks. Go straight to free agency. Fill our roster because we do have roster spots open. Um, fill our rosters with just normal NBA players. And then next regular season, before we play any games, make more trades. So now it's just about filling the roster. All right, so free agency is over. Didn't do anything really other than just fill the roster. Trey Young is now a 92. Bradley Beal is a 90. He's going to be happy once he um, once we get things going. He's back in the rotation. Boom, boom, boom. The rest of our roster is complete trash, but that is completely okay because we're not even close to done with the trades. With all these draft picks, there is a world where we go out and make a big time, one more big time splash. I guess this is where our team would look like if we started right now. Tabo Cephalos would be our starting small force. So that's, that's no bueno. Um, but we have to do this. We have to go to rebuilding teams and snag their players. So the thing I'm doing next is I'm offering Bradley Beal basically to every top team. They consider him untouchable. The only way I accept the trade for him is if I'm blown away and this one doesn't do it. Giannis is on the last year of his deal, which means that he's a free agent this year. They're afraid that they may not be able to sign him. I have so many picks. Look at all these. Look at the value of these picks. Come on. You want more pick? Give us Giannis. Not a deal. So I'm about to do that exact thing with all the star players because though I do love Bradley Beal and I thought I was keeping him around, I need a superstar. So everybody, like, I'm going to try the same thing with Kawhi, but they consider themselves a contender, so they don't want to make a trade. But what if I just do the same thing? Offer all the picks in the world. So one of these teams will have to say yes for all these picks. It's not the Clippers. Oh, my God. We can potentially get Kevin Durant. They don't see Kevin Durant as untouchable, and they're not considering their team contending. Throw the picks. Throw all the picks in the world at them. Throw all of the picks we got. They got a counter offer. They want two first-round picks. They give us DeAndre Jordan, Kevin. Deal. Kevin Durant's on the team. Kevin Durant is on the team, y'all. That's a big time trade so now we have deandre jordan we don't need because we already got two good centers deandre jordan two first round picks get us a new shooting guard eric bledsoe zach levine and window carter john Cal the see realistically i've been thinking about real life a trey young zach levine backcourt defensively will be terrible but in 2k may not be as terrible also shake us alexander's here who's actually a good defender Mmm, D'Angelo Russell's here. D'Angelo Russell's the deal. That's not even, that's a no-brainer to me. That's D'Angelo Russell's deal because if you make D'Angelo Russell a shooting guard, his overall goes up to a 91 overall. So we're looking at Trey Young, D'Angelo Russell, Kevin Durant, Pascal Siakam, and Vucevic. Honestly, Vucevic feels like kind of a weak link here, right? I can't be the only one thinking that. Vucevic seems like a weak link. So let's, two first-round picks and Vucevic. Can it get us a better center? Or if, like, for example, Montrez Harrell is the same overall as him. Oh, his contract's way bigger, though. I was going to say, if we can get a salary dump, I'd appreciate it. Rudy Gobert. Contracts are the same. Rudy Gobert's a superior player. Big time deal. Big bit of Rudy. Right to the team. Oh, my God. All right. Our starters, set. It's about the bench. Right now, we have Mitchell Robinson, Eric Pascal, who I like as a power backup power forward. We don't need Alfred Camino anymore. So let's move Alfred Camino. We still got so many first round picks. And let's add two first round picks to Alfred Camino. Can we get a backup guard? I see Pat Bev here. I like Patrick Beverly a lot. But we got to wait all of our options here. Jared Allen, Spencer Dinwiddie. Nah, we don't need that. I think this is the deal. Josh Okoji and Robert Covington. Those are two very good rotational pieces right there. All right. Who's our backup PG? Trey Burke is a backup point guard. Not in love with it. Not in love with it. So we'll move him next. 
I'm actually kind of curious to what Pascal's um, trade value is like if I to throw two first round picks on it. Uh, not much. It's His trade value is high. It's about the contracts matching up, and that's the problem. So we'll do Trey Burke two first round picks and get a better backup point guard. Come on. Somebody get Derek White. Derek White trade number 17. I like that. Um, I also see this trade for Jamie Lim and Aaron Holiday. Somebody's got an 80 overall point guard. Devontae Graham. Don't even see, need to see the rest. Devontae Graham's on our team. Is this an 82-0 team? Did I do it? Do I think I've done it? I'm actually going to make this a nine-man rotation. I think we may have to fire Scott Brooks. Actually, his numbers are not bad. He's a post-centric coach, though. I can't do both post-centric. I need a coach of, of the now. Post-centric is like if we playing in the 90s. Get out of here with that. I don't need Rudy Gobert post-up post, post up plays, you know? So let's go balance offense with Otis Newman. Boom, nine-man rotation. We got a balance O, which is just four stars. I love it. I love it a lot. So I think the next thing is kind of just playing around. Can we get even better? Trey for Ben Simmons. uh, -uh. Because, you know, you start to add pieces. You know, we may be able to get a, just a, a tad bit better. Victor Leap on Malcolm Brogdon. Maybe we won't get a tad bit better. I did see Russell Westbrook, but at this point in his career, D'Angelo Russell has a higher overall, so I'm going to keep D'Angelo Russell. Pascal Siakam, we're going to look at him in the trade market. Nobody's safe, especially if we can get a, another superstar. Um, I'd rather have Pascal than um, Porzingis. We're going to do Rudy Gobert, too. But I don't think there's a center better than him that I'm going to be able to get. Like, they're not going to trade me Joel Embiid. Are they? Would they trade me Joel Embiid for Rudy Gobert and some picks? They consider themselves a contender. I know that. What if I just threw you every pick we got? All the remaining picks we have. No. They still... They, they wouldn't trade Rudy Gobert and five first-round picks for Joel Embiid. Five first-round picks. Their overalls are not even that crazy different either. What is it? 87 to 92. Okay, it's a five overall jump. But you get what I'm saying? Like, in the real world, I think that might be a trade. They think about five first-round picks. All right. Okay. At this point in time, this is our roster. Our point guards are good. Our shooting guards are good. Our small forwards are good. I think we just go sim. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to watch this with y'all. When we get our first loss... Never did we lose in the second week of the season. Oh, my God. We lost to Kawhi and Paul George, man. It wasn't even Kawhi. Kawhi only had 11. It was Paul George. How, bro? Wow. I'm at a loss for words, man. I definitely didn't think we are going to lose the second week of the season. We lost another one down here to Bradley Beal, his revenge game. All right, well, I guess this is a 79-2 and two challenge now because we already, the Clippers just beat us twice. We never have to go against them again because we're Eastern Conference team. Unless we meet them in the finals, they just they just whipped our butts twice. They're the only team that can do that. I legit thought this, this little, no joke, might be the best team I have ever built in my lifetime. Through all the 2Ks. I've been making videos since 2012. This might be the best team I have ever built. In my history. And we're running through teams, but we're not going to go 82 and no. We're not going to go 82 and no. But we, we, the goal wasn't a ring. Obviously, a ring helps. We lost the third game, or fourth game to the Bulls. We lost to the Bulls, y'all. Larry Market to put up 41. Really? They got Jamal Murray now. And Jeff Teague. And Kobe White. What the heck is going on with this team? Either way. Four losses. We, we have four losses with a month and a half left of the season. Five losses. We lost to the Bucks. I can't believe it. Ah, oh, Like I said, this is an impossible challenge, bro. Everybody at home that's trying this, please send me your results. Right now, we have only lost six games, and hopefully that stays the case. We lost six games this season. Trey Young won MVP, too. <laughs> he averaged 30 and 9. That is some ridiculous numbers. 30 and 9. We have one player all in the all NBA first team. Second team, we have D'Angelo Russell. KD did not make an all-NBA team. That's tough. 
We did all that to trade for Kevin Durant. He wasn't even our best player. He was our third best player. Oh, well, he put up 25 and 5. Trey Young put up 35 and 7. D'Angelo Russell put up 26. Not. We had a lot of assists. Oh, boy. That's unfortunate, though. Definitely unfortunate. Definitely unfortunate. Didn't beat the challenge. But consolation prize would be winning the championship, which I think we can do as long as we don't go against the Clippers, which we do. And we sweep the Clippers in the finals, but we couldn't beat them in the regular season. I can't make this up. The 0-82 to 82-0 and 0 challenge is basically impossible. If you beat it the right way, because there are some ways to beat it, but you'll be going through the settings, change, and stuff. No, 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 no. Beat it the right way. Show it to me on Twitter. I'll determine if it's real or fake, and then maybe I'll follow you. Does that sound like a deal? Also, leave a like on the video. All right, that's it. That's all I got. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow. Peace.